Okay, so today we're going to be doing the brow lamination and brow tinting on Miss Chelsea today. We done we did talk about the uh, shape that we're going to be doing. We talked about the color that we're going to be doing today. The color that we're going to be doing today is a um, natural brown. Okay. And so the look that we're gonna be going for, let me go ahead and hand sanitize my hands really quick. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and give my client a hand mirror. Here she go. So let's go ahead and talk about the shaping really quick. So you said that your front part, you want it to be more flared out. Mm -hmm. And more of your arch, you want it to be kind of laid down. Mm -hmm. Do you want it more like flared up this way or more at like an angle? More like straight up. More like straight up. So we're gonna have to put some little of that soft glue right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you want this to be more straight up, but here, do you want this to start coming down or you want this kind of gradual? Kind of gradual. Gradual. Kind of like so. And then come on down like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's go ahead and see about this other one. Part, we're gonna go ahead and glue that part up and then we'll decide if you like that or not and then if you don't like it we'll take it off okay alrighty so I can go ahead and take that mirror for you so always take your client's mirror because of the fact that if they fall asleep if it falls down it can break okay we already had a couple mirrors break already okay so no mirror breaking so I'm gonna go ahead and pop on my gloves now since I am gonna start touching her face with some chemicals. I'm gonna do the bottomless bubbles first to cleanse her. Okay. Okay, and we are recording still. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and sanitize our hands. We did that. Now we're gonna clean the brows and the area around them with our bottomless bubbles. I'm gonna go ahead and just take my two caught rounds, one for each brow. Now, you can apply it on directly onto their face or onto the caught round. I'm gonna do it onto the caught round. Um, sometimes it scares them or like they shake if you put it on top of their face. So I'm just gonna use my one little pump. Okay, my introductory touch. Hello. Okay, go ahead and close your eyes. And honestly, one pump is good enough especially for the bottomless bubbles because they give you so much product in one pump, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and cleanse our brows, get all this makeup off or anything that she has. Okay. Now I am gonna make sure that her brows are completely dry before I move on to the next step. Okay, so dry completely. Do a little bit of a consultation, kind of asking what we're wanting, but we are gonna do it at that 45 degree angle, but I'm gonna go ahead and use some of that soft glue to get the front ends straight up and then we'll go ahead and start doing that coming down of that arch and that tail. okay so boom, boom. now since she does want a little bit of a wolfy look i am going to go ahead and do a occlusive barrier so i'm going to go ahead and take my vaseline now this is where we're going to take some of our first lint-free applicator here i'm going to go ahead and take just a good amount and apply it on the back of my hand Okay, so now this back of my hand is gonna be used as my palette now, okay? So I can always go double dip if I want to on my palette, okay? So basically what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and come down here and get this right here. Just to protect her skin down there because whenever we do that occlusive barrier or that perm, we're gonna perm those going straight up, okay? So we're good to go where my little trash pile is right here. So after we add our, our occlusive barrier, 
Now I am gonna go ahead and take this off of my hand because I'm gonna use my palette a little bit later. Okay, so after I close the bear, now, see, do you want your brows to be more on the hard side or more of the softer look that you can still flex flex them around? The and move them around. More of that softer look. So, extremely soft, it's going to be five minutes, and we're gonna adjust the solution a little bit for the softness look. So on here, she has about fine to thin brows, so it says nine to 10 minutes. We're not going to do nine to 10 minutes. We're only gonna be doing about six minutes, okay? Because she wants that soft look, okay? Um, if we do it a little bit more, have you ever glued down your brows or with brow gel? That's what it will feel like every single day, like brow gel onto your brows if you do it for the maximum time, okay? So we're gonna do it for six minutes. Now we are going to match six minutes of fixation six minutes of perming, okay? So after that, we did that, we're gonna go ahead and apply the glue on first to get that brow look. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take my little soft glue here. Now, you can either take your little pink one here, don't take your lipstick applicator because it'll get stuck in here and it'll be floating around, okay? Just take a little one. And I'm, now I'm gonna put this on the back of my hand Okay. Back of my hand. Okay. Now, so the back of my hand now, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this back in, never double dipping. Now, I'm gonna keep this mascara one for her if she wanted to brush her brows hair in the morning, things like that. I'm gonna give this to her, but I'm gonna utilize this one with the glue on here, okay? and get my glue. Okay, Miss Chelsea. All right. So we want this to be a little bit more. Uh Is that kind of sticking straight up how you want? Or you want more of an angle going like this? Yeah. yeah I didn't put yeah, no glue like in a... here, but I just put glue in here. I like it straight up until like this point, and mm -hmm. then I want it to angle out a little more bit. More angle out. Mm -hmm. Get a little bit more water. That glue has already been set now. Okay. How's that right there? Yeah, that's perfect. Is that perfect? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and match the same side now. Okay, get my glue. Go ahead and put it on my palette. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So now, I'm going to go ahead and take that same glue with that spoolie. you're happy I'm happy okay. set our time for six minutes and we're gonna go ahead and apply our solution okay 
So here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and take my jade stone here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my lifting and I'm gonna go ahead and take a new lipstick applicator. Now we only have um, five applications in here. So that's for every step, okay? If you ever need more, we can give you more, but try to stick in your um, application in your box, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and now if you feel any discomfort or anything like that, please let me know anything above a five, okay? So once we go ahead and apply it onto her brows, then we're gonna go ahead and start our time, okay? Hey Siri, can you set in a timer for six minutes? Perfect, thank you. So she's talking to me in my ears, so she's communicating. Thank you, Queen. Okay. So now we have this on here. Now this doesn't have to be perfect because right now we are just perming her brows, the area that we want. Now everything is covered. Now I'm just gonna make sure that it's nice, even application. No. Y'all smell that perm from a mile away? No? Oof, I do. <laughs> she rough. Okay. Miss Chelsea, you're doing okay? Mm -hmm. All right, Chelsea, I am gonna go ahead and wrap this with some Ram Wrap. Now, if you feel any discomfort or anything like that, please let me know. Anything above a five, okay? Okay, so now that's going to be wait there for about six minutes now, and we are four minutes from left. beautiful okay i my a little trash here now i'm going to go ahead and go on, uh take my y comb with that little combing part and i'm going to brush that perm out of her hair going into that direction okay okay i'm just getting all that perm off just like so Now I'm gonna kind of keep this off to the side for me um, to clean off that fixation, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and take a four by four, a dry four by four, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take the rest of that uh, perming solution off, okay? Now I'm gonna go in that same direction. I'm never going down or anything like that. I'm going to that same direction of I'm going to that perm, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're good in the hood over here. She's not screaming, so we're good. Okay, so now, do you, can y'all remember the um, fixation time that we need to do? Six minutes. Six minutes. Yes, ma'am, because we need to match it. Perfect. Okay. So that should be enough for both brows. The same step, we're gonna go ahead and apply it and using that same direction, okay? So, okay, are you ready, Ms. Chelsea? Mm -hmm.
Hey Siri, go ahead and start a time for six minutes. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and make it look pretty now since all the product is on there. Just keep in mind, once the product is on, it's starting to do its magic, okay? So once it's on, it's starting to perm or it's starting to fixation, okay? So I'm gonna make it look pretty for her. And I'm gonna cover it up with some ram wrap. Beautiful, okay. And that goes into trash. Now, some ram wrap. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Okay. So you don't need a big glob of ceramic. wrap. You just need a very thin part and you're just gonna cover her brows, okay? And you're going to push them up into that direction because you wanna kind of trap in that heat right there. We have 10 drops of our developer and one dollop of natural brown. Let's get all that mixed. Okay. Now we're looking for a paste. Now I may need to add a little bit more color into here. There's, um, there were some students um, that graduated before you guys. They were mixing some black brown, or some black, some red, and some browns in there and made a beautiful color. I was like, okay, girly, you better match your hair like that, you know, your hair on the top of your head. <laughs> and they was like, you know what, it's iconic. <laughs> it's like, it's iconic, all right. <laughs> okay, perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get that mixed and situated. Okay, so we're looking more at this pace. So that is exactly what we're looking for. So we're gonna be doing um, lashes tomorrow. But Miss Tiffany's going to be teaching you guys how to do the lash lift in 10. Okay. So y'all are excited for that too. That's going to be really fun. Go ahead and take my 4x4. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the clean side now. Beautiful. Okay. Absolutely beautiful. Now I'm, I am going to go ahead and take the um, mascara brush. There we go. Spoolie. I'm just going to kind of brush out her hairs a little bit. Kind of comb those into the directions that I want. ombre look. I have my stick now so we are mixed and beautiful. So two minutes on the tail. Okay now how many minutes on the middle part? Can we remember? It is um, so in the middle part is one minute. <laughs> okay so one minute and then 30 seconds is that very front. Okay so now any questions before I get started? I am going to go ahead and add an occlusive barrier really quick. So that occlusive barrier is going to protect her skin so I don't dye her skin 
and have brown everywhere. Now, if she wanted that, that would be complimentary, but I'm not going to do that because she doesn't want it, okay? So, I have my one little application still. My inclusive barrier. Okay. Now, I am gonna go ahead and raise up my seat just a little bit. So now, I can go ahead and see and kind of do an outline of this occlusive barrier, okay? Now, it can be Vaseline, it can be petroleum jelly, it can even be um, um, a eye mask if you wanted to, but it just needs to be a protection from that, okay? I'm doing it on top and bottom. Your clients know what they want. Don't try to persuade them going darker because they may not like it, okay? So, two minutes on the tail. Now, this is the only um, part that we don't have to use a saran wrap anymore, okay? So, two minutes on the tail. Hey Siri, can you start your time for two minutes for me? Okay. Now I am gonna go ahead and do that for two minutes because I don't wanna jump around or anything um, just because um, we can do a different darkness and different parts of the brows, okay? So I'm gonna do two minutes first on here, okay? nice and beautiful so we got that for two minutes now do we remember if we're using a dry 4x4 or a wet 4x4 for the tint does it tell us on there it's dry yes so we can use it dry but if we need water what what can we use if we need water the bottomless bubbles yes on the lash bath or the bottomless bubbles if we needed water but we're gonna use a dry 4x4 to get all of that off. Okay, so we have that looking slay, looking beautiful. Okay, now we have a couple seconds left. So now I am gonna go ahead and wait for that time to elapse and then I'll do the middle and then I'll do the front and then we'll be done from that. Now you can see that it just only been on there for about a minute and a half and it's getting really dark, okay? So for me, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take that off of her because I don't want it to be the full two minutes. So it's been a minute and a half. I'm gonna take my dry four by four and get some of that tint off now. Beautiful. And now she doesn't have any tint on her skin now. It's beautiful, it's just only on her hairs, okay? So now let's go ahead and do the middle part of her brows now. Chelsea, you can relax if you want to. You know, you can close your eyes and vibe if you want. Yeah, I don't like closing my eyes when you're like watching me. Okay, you like Rachel. Mm. Like, Rachel, relax a little bit. She's like, I'm good. She was yelling at me yesterday when we were doing the hydro facial. She was like, stop holding your breath. And I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So now. I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit there for a minute and then this is only for 30 seconds, okay? So, hey Siri, go ahead and set in timer for one minute, please.
Okay, I am going to go ahead and start removing her front part. Now. Perfect. Now I am going to go ahead and start transitioning into her middle now. Ooh, stunning. Okay. Now, all her brows is nice and clean now. We don't have any more tint anymore. Okay. Thank you so much, Billy. Oh, we're not repeating. All righty. So. Now, before we do anything now, I'm going to go ahead and ask Miss Chelsea, does she like this color? Does she want it more darker? Is she happy with this? Or is this, um, are we just perfect? It's good. You like it? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to go ahead and take some nutritional oil now. Now, this is where it's going to be a little bit different now. You are going to use this in your hand just a little bit because it's oil. Okay. And you're going to get this mascara wand full of this oil, okay? And you're going to brush the hairs how you want and also give her that nutrients, okay? <laughs> okay now this is all nice and oily now. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and give her her nutrients back onto those brows. Now you do have a little bit of this color right here. I am gonna take off really quick. Okay, so now we can go ahead and tell her that we're all done and tell us how she thinks about her brows. Okay, Ms. Chelsea, you go ahead and take a look and see about your brows. I like them. You like them? Mm -hmm. 